What's up? How you guys doing? Welcome back to the channel. Mr. Hollywood here with another arcade one up tutorial today. We're talking about the light up marquee here in this golden T stock marquee light and how to get everything programmed. Have the on and off switch function it so it turns on, it turns on the Pi, turns on the LCD monitor with one switch. No additional adapters, no additional uh, turning off. Uh, additional switches on here and same thing turning off once we hit the off switch it'll turn off the pie turn off the marquee and turn off the monitor so let's get into it on here first I wanna uh, give a shout out to Bernie Yi with the script on this making this happen and let's take a look what we need in this build we need a two channel relay module we also need some uh, DC power cable, just one or two of these. DuPont wires, you're going to need three of those. And also the DC power splitter. Uh, we need one of those. So the uh, channel relay here for eight bucks. Um, and you just need one of those. Uh, same thing here with this DC power cable, female connectors. We're going to need that. I think uh, 10 of them come in this here. You just need one or two at the most. And then these uh, DuPont jumper wires, we'll need three of these. Uh, this pack here gives you 40 of them. So if you have additional uh, light up marquees, you could uh, you could always use extra. Same thing here with this two pack. We'll only need, need one of these splitter cables on here. So first thing we're going to do, um, we're going to take the uh, marquee now. You don't have to take the marquee out on here. It's just for demonstration purposes here. But you're going to need to cut the end there, the male connector from the... Uh, marquee and it's gonna have a red and black wire on there okay so when we hook this up this is how it's gonna look from the marquee wire it's gonna splice into two a black and red and you're gonna use a DC female connector to splice those now you, you don't need to solder anything on here just basically um, twiddling the two wires connected strap on some uh, electrical tape and you're done so both of the reds are gonna go into the module I have a uh, more close-up view on that for you guys in a while and at the other end it's your power adapter that you're, gonna, that you're probably using to uh, light up the uh, LCD board that's gonna split there one end and the other end is gonna go to the marquee so on the module here we got both of the red wires going in you're gonna have to unscrew the screw on top there uh, fit these in and then use the screw to tighten this down okay and then the DuPont jumper wires, you're going to use one, the red one I have going into the VCC, then the blue one here I have in the INT2, and then you have the ground wire, the green wire here in demonstration. So it's going to go to pin t uh, 2, 11, and 9 on here. So if we look at the pins. Well, let, let's look at here. So from the marquee, the black and red, like I said, it's going to be spliced. The two blacks is going to connect from the DC female plug, and then both of the red ones going into the module then your VCC is going to pin 2 your um, INT 2 is going to pin 11 and then your ground wire is going to pin number 9 okay if you have it hooked up like this this is how it should look uh, let's look at the actual pin so uh, you're gonna need to use I'm using pin 2 but you can use either 2 or 4 the 5 volt power on here and then you're gonna need the uh, ground wire since we're using five and six for the on and off switch we'll use uh, pin number nine and then you need a GPIO which I'm using 11 so a GPIO a ground and a 5 volt power those have to be hooked up uh, first let me uh, just install the on and off switch I'm not gonna go into um, a whole in-depth uh, detail on this you guys could always uh, check out the YouTube video I have a whole tutorial on this but basically it connects to pin five and six and what you see on the screen, you basically just copy and paste this in to the terminal or putty, whatever you're using, your command line on here. Uh, once you uh, input that, hit the enter button, it's going to do its thing. It's going to install everything that you need. Uh, now three things come in this package. There's a relay on there, there's a on off and a volume switch. For this uh, purpose here, we're all, I'm only going to install the, the power, the on and off switch. So when you're prompted with the uh, question on there just hit white uh, to install that and the other two I'm just gonna skip for now just hit any other key to skip okay once we have the on and off switch input it next we gotta um, 
take care of the module, the pins that we just hooked up. So first thing, copy and paste. This will be all in the description part, so you could just copy it, paste. First you're going to do nano space marquee on dot py. Then hit enter. And then once you're here, copy and paste the whole thing here. Uh, it's a couple lines, so it's much easier if you use putty or terminal. Paste it in and make sure all this is entered on here. Once it is, we got to save this. So we're going to hit Control X to exit. It's going to ask you to save. We're going to answer yes, Y for yes. And then hit enter here, keep the same name. And that's done. And then the next thing here, we got to type out C R O N T A B space dash E. And that'll take you to this screen on here. The last thing we got to install here, uh, you're going to have to go all the way down on here. So make sure, use the cursor. Let me click in here. All right. And then with your arrows, go all the way to the very bottom. You got to be all the way on the bottom here. Put another enter space here and then uh, paste this in at reboot space python space slash home slash pi slash marquee on dot py and then save it like the other one control x y enter and that is it everything else will be taken care of uh, you just need to reboot for both of those to get installed and to work properly so i'll do a sudo reboot and let's test this out power on the golden t cap here there's the marquee light and there's the raspberry pi our lcd monitors on and everything's working with just one switch and that's all there is to it any questions leave them below enjoy guys